In this question, we have a current carrying coil which is placed in a uniform horizontal magnetic field and the normal to this coil is making 60 degree angle with the uniform magnetic field. Now here we know that whenever we have a current carrying coil placed in a magnetic field, then there will be some force acting on it. Rather than force, we can say torque will be acting on the coil and because of the torque, the coil will start rotating. Now, here they are asking us to calculate the counter torque to prevent the rotation of the coil. The counter torque and the rotating torque are going to be same in magnitude. So, we can calculate the counter torque or you can say the rotating torque by using the formula tau is equals to m cross b. So, before that we will write all the given quantities. So, here they have given the number of turns in the coil is 30. Radius of the coil is 80 centimeter, sorry, 8 centimeter. So, we will convert it into meter. So, that is 8 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. Then they have given the value of current passing through the coil that is 6 ampere. The value of uniform magnetic field is 1 tesla. And theta, that is the angle between the normal of the coil and the magnetic field, that is 60 degree. So, you can say, if I want to draw the figure, then suppose if this is the magnetic field. And suppose we say this is the coil. If this is the normal, then this angle will be 60 degree. Now, by using the formula of torque, tau is equals to m cross b. m is the magnetic moment. So, when I write this in scalar form, it is going to give me n i a b sin theta. Value of theta is 60. So, we will substitute here sin 60. Now, we will substitute all these values over here. After substituting all the values, you can calculate the value of torque. It is 3.1 Newton meter. Now further they have asked in the question that would your answer change if the circular coil is replaced by planar coil of irregular shape with the same area. So our answer is that this torque is not going to change. It will remain same because the formula for torque is valid for any planar loop having uh, any type of shape. Only the answer changes if area changes. But here what they have said that with same area. So, uh, we are having a coil of any irregular shape but the area remains same as this circular coil. So, when the area remains same then the torque also remains same. So, answer for this question. Would your answer change if the circular coil is replaced? Then our answer is no. Our answer will not change.